That's our three by three by three. It's a little bit off there, but that's okay. All right. Now we need two by two by two. There's two here. two by two by two and then we need a one by one by one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this piece because this looks like it's already starting to diffuse so I'm gonna get rid of that Make sure that's one by one. All right, that's that. Make sure this is still two by two. It's got a little bit in here, yeah. It's pretty good. This looks pretty good. Three by three. It's a little bit too much here. All right. So those are our three blocks. And now we're gonna take our cup and we're gonna put our hydrochloric acid in there, a 0.3 molar solution. Just enough so that when submerged, um, the cubes are in the hydrochloric acid solution. So ideally what you would do here is you would probably put the large one in first so that that gives you time when you take it out to figure out how you're gonna measure. If you put all three cubes in at the same time, that's okay as long as you know that they're all going to come out at the same time and if it takes you too long to measure this cube then by the time you get to the small one the diffusion is still occurring while you're messing around with this um, you might end up with results that are slightly skewed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one in the hydrochloric acid solution first and let it sit there for maybe a minute or two now there should be a spoon here that we should use I'm going to go get a spoon. <clears throat> All right, so now when using the spoon, this will give you the ability to kind of pick this up and sort of just put it in there just like that. Now, I don't know if you can see on the film at this moment, but what is happening is just through a process of a, uh, a concentration gradient, the hydrochloric solution, which is in greater concentration than what's on the inside of the agar, um, is going to diffuse into the cube. The phenolphthalein acid base indicator turns clear in the presence of an acid. So you can actually start to see that it's diffusing into the cube. I'm watching the clock at the same time here. So this is going to be for about eight minutes. Again, like I said, we're going to give this one a head start. Okay, so that's about a minute. Because I know what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to expedite this. And uh, we're going to put in our two by two. And we'll throw our one by one, and all three are in there. 